Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. And this is not a video that I really expected to be making anytime soon. And that's because frankly, Framework wasn't really on my radar as the next great steam machine maker. And yes, I fully understand that steam machines aren't really a thing, but in my mind, they're becoming a thing because of Bazite and even SteamOS, which eventually hopefully makes its way uh, towards uh, being just available for download and installation on kind of whatever hardware you want, similar to kind of how Windows is now. But the point is, small PCs that you can install a version of the Steam interface on SteamOS, Bazite, some of the other options out there, that basically turn them into consoles to me make a lot of sense in sort of the HTPC realm where maybe you have like a living room set up and you want something that has a primarily controller based interface basically framework just made that now before we actually look at the specs of these things the pricing of these things just understand a couple of things a you won't get your hands on it anytime soon especially if you haven't already ordered this thing but b it's not cheap at all. So I'll link down below to the actual announcement of this thing. There were some other announcements in Frameworks live stream, uh, but today we are focused on this desktop PC, which of course you can go ahead and pre-order. They have this sort of cool front panel that you can tile up however you want. You can 3D print those if you want, but we're concerned here with the actual build out of this system. So you have a couple of CPU options. There's the Max 385 with 32 gigabytes of memory. And one of the downsides, if there is one, and, and frankly, there are some actually, one of the downsides of this system is that that memory is unified memory. You're not upgrading the memory. Uh, you're stuck with whatever configuration you go with unless you have some like really good micro soldering skills. But uh, that aside, uh, you're stuck with whatever memory configuration you go with. So just be aware of that. That being said, 32 gigabytes is a pretty solid setup. It's gonna have you up and running and with a decent amount of RAM for your GPU and CPU to share. Uh, for the foreseeable future. I don't see 32 gigabytes kind of becoming obsolete in the immediate future, especially if you're just trying to use this as a gaming PC. But the one that really is interesting to me is the Max Plus 395 with 64 gigabytes of RAM, and that's because it features that 40 core GPU. And if you don't know, the reason that's interesting is basically that actually compares very closely to an RTX 4060. And again, I'll link down below a comparison video where somebody has actually already tested this uh, APU, the GPU, the integrated GPU against an RTX 4060. And they're really similar. Like this is basically 4060 class graphics in an APU form factor. Or not really an APU, but an integrated form factor anyways. And then of course, if you wanna go absolutely all out, you can get the Max Plus 395 128 gig. Um, that's gonna be kind of in my mind, more reserved for workstation type build outs. To me, if you're gonna be using this as a steam machine, the 385 might make some sense, especially if you don't play a ton of modern AAA titles, that'll give you some pretty solid performance. And if you do play modern AAA titles, the Max Plus 395 configuration may make some sense. And looking at the price here, it is really, really important to understand. You are paying for a 4.5 liter form factor. You're paying a premium to get some really strong CPU cores and a really strong iGPU, but ultimately the upgradability is not there for the system. So my recommendation, if you really want that console experience, but you do have space to build a proper desktop and just use it for that purpose, you're gonna save some money by going that route and have much better upgradability. And by the way, I have a video in the not great distant future about a way to really save some money and still get excellent gaming performance. So stay tuned for that. But if you really need a small form factor PC that's gonna give you that console experience because it also gives you a super small out of the way PC that looks like a console, then this may be the best steam machine option out there 
just know that you're gonna be ponying up a lot of money. And then looking down at some of the other configuration options, you have an M.2 2280, uh, you'd probably be better off by just uh, not buying this through framework. I think you can probably do a little bit better elsewhere buying your own and bringing that. Uh, you do have a secondary slot as well for a second M.2 2280 size. Your OS, obviously, if you're gonna turn this into a Steam machine, you're not gonna worry about that. You're gonna just install something like Bazite. Uh, the CPU fan is interesting because there are some other options out there. You can bring your own with their kit. And then the side panel option, to me, I think the black one looks really, really good. I would probably stick with that. These tiles are kind of this optional add-on thing. I would, again, if you have 3D printer, great. I would kind of go with that route. Um, but if you just want some blanks, you can go with blanks or you can just go without tiles at all would also be an option. And then as far as your expansion cards go, you basically get to pick the front panel of this system. So going back to uh, one of these pictures here that shows the front, you get a couple of different front panel options here and you can go really any direction you want with these because just like the laptops, they use the exact same modules. So if you want Want a couple of type C connectors there you can go that route you can do a couple of type A's it really is completely up to you the nice thing though of course is that you do have the rear panel which has somewhat limited IO but you do have some IO back there as well to compensate for just having two front panel slots available to you so I do want to hear from all of you what do you think about this this is a really interesting product because it is quite premium really it's it's not a cheap PC but it's really niche in the sense that it packs a huge amount of power into a really small form factor, one that has previously been occupied by uh, other companies like Minis Forum, B-Link. Those are kind of going to be the competitor to this PC because of its form factor and because of its internals. It'll be interesting if those companies come out with similar type of setups in the future. But let me know what you think of the framework desktop computer. Are you going to pick it up? Are you going to wait for it to sort of uh, be slashed with price a little bit maybe down the road a year or two where it's going to be significantly cheaper to get this exact same model. Just let me know all your thoughts down below. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware and I'll see you all in the next video.